one. So here we're going to take a look at how do I make sure that my Chromebook display is being mirrored and it shows up on my smart cart display. And when you plug in that HDMI output, uh, you're probably using a VGA converter. And uh, what we'll do is by default, Chromebook likes to extend the display. And we want to make sure that it's mirroring. So whatever I see on my Chromebook screen is what's going to show up on my smart cart screen as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the HDMI cable. And sometimes you'll see a little notification that's going to pop up here down in the, in the bottom. Uh, you may even get a notification here to let you know that something has been plugged in. And let's just say that you don't get any sort of um, display notification. Where you can find that is on your profile picture and go under settings. And you're going to see display settings. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have this mirrored option uh, as my default. And uh, when you first plug it in, it wants to extend the desktop. If this is something that you have already done, you've already plugged it in, it will remember that setting. So if this is the first time you're doing that, it'll probably want to extend your desktop. Uh, choose the mirrored option. Another thing that you're going to want to do in order for your audio to show up through your Chromebook, there is going to be a... Um, a audio jack that's also connected to the laptop display on that smart cart. Uh, what you're going to have to do is plug in that audio jack as well. Uh, otherwise, all of the audio is just simply going to be uh, muted because the audio is being exported through the HDMI cable. Uh, so we got to make sure that audio jack is plugged in as well. So if you have those two things done, you have the setup is mirrored, uh, everything should go pretty smooth for you.